him Zansi. Mr. Tolani Kumalo is definitely finding all sort of joy and happiness and content in doing his job because he knows he is cleaning the streets of South Africa. On last night's episode of Sisok Tola, Tolani was very excited to find bigger bags of illicit consumables from the Nigerians and of course they got arrested. Do well to watch this video right up to the end because apparently three of the richest Nigerian drug dealers in South Africa are actually currently behind bars most definitely. Before I give you all more details, do well to subscribe to this channel, like this video, drop a comment and hit on to my post notification bell. Tolani is always serious about his job and he always delivers what he promised the nation. Last night, he visited the biggest drug dealers in the country whereby they are actually coming from Nigeria. Tolani revealed that they don't hate foreigners not even for a second, but they hate what they bring to the nation. He is right because so many foreigners come to South Africa with no relevant documents and they definitely struggle to get real jobs. That is when drugs come in to help them make a living in the country. Last night, he found bigger bags of illicit consumables and he was very happy about that. He actually cleaned out the whole house because it was full of illicit consumables even on the ceiling. These people have different hiding spots, but Mr. Tolani is well aware of all of them. Yesterday, Tolani was even singing while looking for the illicit consumables because he loves his job and he is protecting the people of South Africa. So many Nigerians do not care about the people of South Africa, but then again, they are really scared of jail. They must be taken back to their country because if South Africans cannot really live with them in their own country, then most definitely they should be sent back. And what is actually hurting the most is that when they are doing all of these practices that they are doing, guys, South Africans are the ones losing. It is their reputation that is going into the mud. It is their children that are actually being misled. I really don't know what to really think about all of this already because at the end of the day, guys, I'm telling you all for a fact, there are very good Nigerians out there and South Africans do love Nigerians so pretty well. I mean, even if you look at the socials, they're always interrelating, they are always, you know, in positive competitions and stuff like that, but in matters of that actually affect the youthful population, guys, these things need to be taken seriously. I don't know how they definitely get to, you know, adjust themselves within the national territory or do they actually even think that it is appropriate to be doing such things in a different land, even if it was your own land? Do you think it is appropriate to be doing such things? You are implicating so many people already and so many young children are being involved in this kind of illicit activities. You are tell me in the comment section what you think about everything that Mr. Tolani Kumalo is doing. I mean, how do you find the whole idea of him venturing into such activities and are you actually excited that he succeeded to arrest? one more time three of one of the richest you know nigerian illicit you know drug dealers in the country i love you all so pretty well